but you can see that jumping about it's 57 69 I have seen what's in there and I'll take it down and show you I don't know if you can see it just there Hello and welcome back to Blue Degusta Techs. Um, if you're a new subscriber, hi, um, my name's uh, Jackie, um, Blue Degusta Techs. <laughs> uh, yeah, and if you're returning, thank you for returning. Thank you for all the support you've been giving me. I'm out today on my own. Um, we're going to my sister's tomorrow, so Chris thought he'd uh, save himself for that. Um, and I'm out on some stubble. It's threatening to rain and I've not got my waterproof with me. Although the sun is out at the time being for the time being okay let's give this a go I hope you can hear me I've got the wind mic on um, this is my first coin of the day and it's a Victoria veil head half pence 1904 I'll check that out later for you I'm not expecting too much today. Um, it's Friday the 13th. I'm lucky for some, but I'm hoping that it's going to be lucky for me. If not, I've always got tomorrow to look forward to. This one's eyes only. I'm going to pick it up, I won't leave it there. That could do some damage to the next time they do some work on the field. This one is a 93 on the dais. I'll dig it up and get back to you. Yeah, just a shotty cap. It's quite high for one of those. They're not usually that high. They're usually in the 70s. Never mind. So... this in. If you can see that jumping about it's 57, 69. I have seen what's in there and I'll take it down and show you. I don't know if you can see it. Just there. Yes, Friday the 13th you can do one, because that's a habit. Again out on the field I'm no good at, uh, I'm sorry about the wind, I'm no good at uh, finding out what they are and Chris loves to look so I'll save that for Chris. just this tiny tiny little bullet just giving this place a good look around the hammered coin before I dug it was 45 I think it was uh, so I was expecting maybe a button or something I wasn't expecting that uh, I sent Chris a message and uh, he said it always happens when I'm not with you and I don't mean this bad towards Chris but I'm very positive thinking Never used to be, and he's quite negative thinking, but yeah, I think it helps. I do, I really do think it helps. This is something you don't see me doing very often. I'm on a bit of cloud, just thought to have a little look before it's receded. I uh, had an ankle injury a few years back and I can't do cloud very well. I'm going to give it a whirl, see what we can find. It's not too bad actually. So there's the first thing that I picked up on the cloud. Yeah. Trouble at mill. don't know if you can see that flashing there. No coil. That means my battery 
it's gone flat and I did leave it on charge last night but this is a dodgy coil that it keep me to send back. I've got a nine inch in the car. It's two fields away. I don't know whether I can bother to go and get it and come back out. I'll see how I feel when I get back to the car. Sorry. Okay, so I changed it. That's my nine inch one, a lot smaller and I've stayed quite near the car. Um, I've had five hammocks off this field. It has been done to death, but I'm going to give it another look. I'll let you know how I get on. Yeah, again, wind problem. Um, yeah, I'll just showing how deep this was. It's just a piece of lead. Um, you will see me throw the pinpointer down the hole to uh, show the depth. Uh, I thought it had writing on it, but no, it doesn't. That's where I throw the pinpointer down. It's very deep. Yes, you've guessed it. Just down here. It's coming up at 72, I think it was. Another hammered. I'm shouting a bit over the wind. I yeah, I was shouting over the wind because I noticed that on the last clip um, it was quite windy. Yeah, another hammered and I was just saying here that I think it's Queen Elizabeth. And my next find is a button. Sorry about the wind, it's really bad now. Uh, it did fall to bits and not get out. But yeah, a button. I am having such a brilliant day today. So now I've found a spindle whale. Um, yeah, such a good day. Two hammers and this. I thought this was a third hammer. That would be nice, but uh, that's just being greedy. <laughs> okay. Unfortunately, that's all I've got time for now. Um, thoroughly enjoyed myself. I stood behind a tree to try and keep the wind out of the way. Uh, hopefully you've heard me in most of the video. Gosh, this wind's terrible. Um, and uh, stay tuned because when I get back and edit the video, I'll show you the hammered coins. Two in one day, one with the 11 inch, one with the 9 inch. Oh my God. Okay, I'll see you when I get back home. So here we are having a quick roundup. Um, very few things to show you, although what I have got is, is pretty good. So this is the half pence that you found, saw me find, and it's Victoria Vale Head, and I think it's a 1901. Yes, definitely 1901. Then there was the spindle whirl. It has got some decoration on it, but um, you have to be in a certain light to get it. I'm quite happy with that. This was so deep, really, really deep. Um, and I thought I saw some initials on it. When I found it but I didn't I've no idea what it is can't be a spindle whirl uh, not a spindle whirl a whirly gig uh, the hole's not very central for that so it is basically just a piece of lead and then this was the first hammer that I found um, Chris is busy at the moment and I wanted to get on and do this video get it put together so I still don't know what it is um, somebody on here will know I'm sure so it was the first hammered and then you saw me get this second one which is a 1567 I believe um, Queen Elizabeth sixpence uh, the wind was incredible today unbelievably windy um, so you'll notice that through this video I've had to do a, a voiceover I couldn't put you through that noise it was horrendous um, but I had a good day 
and uh, we're off out again tomorrow down to Lancaster. So thank you all very much for watching, liking, subscribing. Um, it is really appreciated. And that's my dog. <laughs> and I'll catch you on the next.